Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the Houseco Gamer. Time to step between stars. Yeah, this ship is not coming back from that. <laughs> Flying near a sun. Whose bright idea was that? <laughs> it's utter insanity. Without proper metaphasic shields, you're screwed. And this ship does not have that. Uh. All right. You're just in time. Please follow me to Subcommander Cole. I don't need to follow you. I can just run past. I know where he is. I've been to his office countless times. Good to see you again. We now know why the sphere generates vast amounts of Omega particles. It is designed to use those particles as fuel to jump to any area of space. There is a space station that controls the jumps in close orbit of the Spear's star. Admiral Tuvok from Starfleet was selected to lead a small team to the station to try to disable it. With him is Dr. Eric Cooper, a scientist who has been studying Dyson and Iconian technology. Something's gone wrong. Two hours ago we received a distress signal from Tuvok. Please use the console to download the signal. Afterward, I'd like to hear your opinion of the situation. Joint Command, please respond. This is Tuvok. Sensors have detected a large Both fleet moving toward the station. They have discovered us, and we have yet to complete our work. Communications with our ship are down. Our last contact with them indicated that they were having technical difficulties and may be forced to retreat to a safer location. I will be unable to stop a Voth advance without assistance. The attack on the Voth fleet will commence shortly. Captains, please return to your ships. That was a unique bug. The name was following the Cetacean's tail. I wondered if all of them were members of the Enterprise crew. Well, that was right. Tuvok and Koopa are stranded with an entire Voth fleet bearing down on them. I need you to fly to the station, rescue our team, and finish the mission. Our fleet will engage the Voth to help keep them distracted. But to avoid detection, you'll need to fly roughly 100 kilometers above the surface of the star. What about using a cloak? My ship's got a cloak, I think. The Voth are actively scanning for ships approaching the station. They can detect our cloaked ships, which is another issue we're trying to solve. This is our best option. The star's magnetic field will make it impossible for most sensors to pick up your ship. With luck, your ship will not have to fly close to the star's surface for very long. Alright, fine. Speak with the logistics officer assigned to brief your crew on the situation. With your permission, we can help your engineers set up a temporary modulation for your shield frequencies that should allow your ship to travel that close to the sun safely. Greetings. Our engineers are working with your crew now to create a temporary modulation program that will help your shields protect your ship from the heat and radiation you will encounter on your way to the sun station. Your ship should be able to safely make the trip, but it won't be able to remain in orbit of the station. We will need every available ship to fight the Voth. It would be best if your ship joined the fleet once you are aboard the station. Your goals on the station are to find Admiral Tuvok. Assist him to shut down the Sphere's jump capabilities, and then retreat before the Voth fleet arrives. Do you have any questions? Whose insane plan was this? Admiral Tuvok traveled to the station in a new starship, specifically designed to withstand the conditions there. The Dyson has reported some technical issues, but they should still be in transporter range. It will be standing by to assist you when you've completed your mission. Very well, let's get this over with. 
This is completely and utterly insane. But, needs must. This is insanity. And I will freely admit it. We are flying 100 kilometers from the surface of a sun. Th that melts molten iron! That turns iron bars into freaking vapor. All right, see, let's see what systems go offline. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Please be something trivial. Oh good, it's something trivial. Your arrival is timely. The Voth are already on the station. I am with Dr. Cooper, but many of the other members of our team have been killed. Any assistance you can render would be useful. I recommend that you speak to your crew before transport. Your vessel will not be able to remain in range for long. No kidding. Uh, support the fleet. Just don't blow up my ship. Greetings. I am Admiral Tuvok. The man behind the crates is Dr. Eric Cooper, the Federation Science Council's expert on Dyson technology. I. Uh, yes. H hello. I'm. Dr. C Cooper. Allow me to brief you on the situation so we may determine the best plan of action. It's Fubar, I Main know. The power is offline. I am not sure what caused this disruption, but the event was fortunate. The darkness is a distinct tactical advantage. There are manual overrides in each room. I have temporarily disabled the one between us and the Voth. Unfortunately, the Dyson's captain did not survive the Voth's initial assault. There are two generator rooms that control much of the station's operations. The generator room to the south controls the power. The control room to the west, where the Voth are, maintains the station's jump capabilities. It is imperative we reach the west control room and disable it before the Voth jump this sphere back to their space. More than the two of us can safely engage. Defeat would be certain. However, if we restore main power, we can use the station's automated defenses to even the odds, if we can avoid being targeted by them ourselves. I understand you have extensive combat experience. Do you have any suggestions? We're moving away from the Voth, right? Sensors are detecting a Voth battle mech ahead. I recommend we perform a more detailed scan to ensure it is deactivated. How about I stick a grenade in it? That'll help. I mean... Surprise! Kaboom! The pilot of this battlesuit may have been killed in the fighting. However, we do not know what else we will find on this station. We must move forward. The trapped Voth will be attempting to circumvent my modifications. What do you suggest? Arm Cooper. You're giving me a phaser? We need all the fire we can get. Voth! Oh, uh, sorry. I thought I saw something. Oh, God. Remain calm, Doctor. The defenses in here can be quite lethal. It was awful. The sounds, the blood. Ugh. I will 
stand watch while you and the doctor examine the generator. If I understand this correctly, we can restore main power activating consoles that match the symbol up here. After the first one is activated, we'll only have 20 seconds to activate the other two. If we don't, the system will defend itself. Also, activating the wrong consoles will trigger the system's defenses. Be careful. That looks right. That looks right. That did it. The final console is unlocked. They really need to fix those animations. I don't know, redo the cutscene, get everyone running properly. This does not bode well. You think? By restoring main power, we have released the locks, preventing the Voth from reaching our location. They will already be on the move. We will require Cooper's assistance to subvert the automated defenses for our own use. The Doctor is an expert in the technology found on the sphere. This is well within his capabilities. You will do things. What are we going to do? The Voth will be here any second, and I don't think they're in the mood to take prisoners. Please, you have to get me out of here. I'm not like you in Tuvok. I'm much too important to die here. Shut up and help or I'll shoot you myself. Oh god, I love being Klingon sometimes. My help? What could I do? Don't ask me to use a phaser again. Because I won't. I refuse. I just want to go back to my lab. I was never meant for field work. Don't yell at me. I'm not one of your warriors. You're trained to think under fire. I'm not. I just want to go home and think things over without being under threat from dinosaurs and captains. It's up to you. I... I just can't. Then I guess we'll all just die. <sighs> if the Voth don't get us, then the station's defenses will. But if the defenses aren't active here... Wait! I think I know what to do. Just give me a moment. I think if I try this... Dr. Cooper, we require a solution. I'm working on it! Vulcans, if I can just try that... Yes, I have it. I've done... something. I'm not ready for what's being thrown at me here. Maybe I could activate the beams? Or something else? Allow me, Doctor. Fascinating. With this exposed, I can manually activate the defenses in the next room. However, there is another possibility. Instead of activating the defenses to assist you, I can reroute the power to attempt to send a message to our stranded ship. It may not help, but we have been out of contact for hours. Your options are activating the defense beams, activating swarmers, or using none of them. Don't need any. Slim enough that I cannot recommend it. However, if you choose to do so, I will support you. I'll wait here. You go on ahead. yourself. Both commanders are approaching.
We should move forward. Be on your guard. Eh. <laughs> Come along, Voth. Fine. A Voth soldier is activating the battle suit. <laughs> Not exactly impressed. That was an explosion of sufficient magnitude to cause a breach. Doctor, what is your stat? I'm fine, I'm fine. The bot can't get in. You uh may wanna put a shield up around the next door before you open it. It would appear all that is between us and our goal is the vacuum of space. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. The intense heat of the sun, the intense radiation of being so close to the sun. Uh, that's not good. My modifications successfully locked the Voth out of this area. However, there was an armed Voth battle suit in the corridor. The station's automated swarmers attacked. And this is the result. No response. According to my readings, there is no method of direct access. Unless your ship is within range, we are stranded. I'm here! I'm here! Wait! Doctor, we require a way to access the other areas of the station. Your thoughts? Uh, I have an idea. But you may not like it. Those EV suits over there. They have maneuvering jets that we could use on the outside of the station. I've looked them over, and they should be able to withstand the heat of the sun. Should? Well, nothing will withstand that much heat and radiation for long. The suits appear to be designed for use in the shadow of the station. But, technically, they can keep us safe. For a little while. They will have to suffice. We have no other logical option. Doctor, are you going to prepare your suit? Me? Of course not! It's far too risky for me to go out there! We will need to convince Cooper to overcome his fear and help us complete our mission. Do you really need me out there? Internal comms are still active. I could just tell you what you have to do. I really can't stand any more stress. I have no idea why Admiral Tuvok chose me for this project. I'm not trained for field work. If I get home alive, I'm writing a letter to the Federation Science Council. I'll file a formal complaint! Sabotage you? What do you mean? It's true the suits will work. Why would I lie to you? <laughs> do you want a list? Why would you think that? Fine. I'll show you I'm telling the truth. I'll put on a suit and go with you. <laughs>
may suggest flying a safe distance before activating the charges. Come on. Stop it. The doors are open. Dr. Cooper and I will wait for you inside. All right, let's get this over with. Please be something simple. And by that I mean quick. These suits are fried. I doubt they'll be much use anymore. Yeah, that's why I swapped out. Something has closed the doors. Most unsettling. I think the station's defenses are activating! should move forward before more defenses activate. I remember this room. The security protocols shut us out when we first arrived. Prepare yourself. We must defend Dr. Cooper. while I work on this. Excellent. I can keep moving forward. Over shielding to access the control panels. The doctor and I will continue our work while you disable the lower panels. This place is a death trap. Good work. Reactivate the shield. 
Mars and we can complete our mission. The honor of deactivating the station is yours. There we go. The deactivation program is moving nicely. Doctor, I'm detecting something curious. Energy levels in the gateway in front of us are rising at an exponential rate. It appears to be activating. What? Let me check. Oh, this is not good. The gateway is designed to be an escape hatch in the event this station goes offline. We cannot deactivate the jump protocols without activating the gateway as well. Is there any way to override the protocols? None that I can see. If we want to stop the jump, we have to activate that gate. It seems we have little choice. Your thoughts? Blow up the gateway. Solve the problem. Occam's razor. But the game won't give me that option, so... As Tuvok said, we have no choice. If we want to stop this sphere from moving, we need to activate the gateway. Our time here is limited. The Voth will return in force. We have to do this now. There is no other option. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have found a better way. I failed you both. Do not dwell on this. If there was another option, we would have found it. One moment. We are being hailed. Tuvok here. Chief Engineer Tarkrum of the Dyson here, Admiral. Acknowledged, Chief. Are all of your systems restored? The opening of the gateway cleared up the ambient distortion disruptions. Do you need transport? Yes. I want to get off this station now. We are ready to depart. Chief, do you have a lock? Admiral Tuvok, come in! Dyson, three to beam up. We can't get a lock. You need to get out of the hot zone. Move! We're going to die! We're going to die! you on board, sir. I I'm Chief Engineer Tarkra. The fleet and your ship are still engaged with the Voth, but several Voth ships are making their way towards the gateway. One of their dreadnoughts has already passed through. As the only available ship, we have orders to stop the other Voth from entering the gateway. Alright, let's take on the Voth and get this over with. Come on, Mr. Palisade, you can do better than that. <laughs> there are no more Voth in the vicinity, but one dreadnought did go through the gateway. 
If my readings are correct, it is passing into another Dyson Sphere, this one deeper in the Delta Quadrant. If the Voth are allowed to enter another sphere, they will try to claim it, as they have fought to claim this one. Well, unfortunately, Interstellar Salvage Code disagrees with them. Navigational readings indicate we are in the Delta Quadrant. However, we are inside a Dyson Sphere, and there are no known structures of this type in this region. I'm detecting the presence of a Starfleet vessel, the USS Gold. That ship disappeared on a survey of the Janolan Dyson Sphere at the precise instant the Iconian Gateway Network was reset to save New Romulus. Ah, a installation that was claimed by the Federation about 30 years ago. Well, I'm not going to contest the claim of the Federation on that installation. After all, sensor records indicate it's the same place. And, well, even Klingons have to respect interstellar law. This sphere was discovered by the crew of the USS Janolan in 2294. The USS Enterprise D rescued Montgomery Scott, a survivor of the Janolan 75 years later. However, it now appears that the Janolan sphere had the same jump capabilities as the Solene and moved to this location with the gold inside. I am detecting disabled systems on the gold, but there is no weapons damage. Also, Sensors indicate that the Voth Dreadnought has its weapons armed, but is not fired. What do you suggest? Hail the gold. Let's call it. I don't want any trouble. I'm on a mission of exploration. Let me tell you how we got here, and maybe that will convince you. We were on a routine survey in the Janolan Dyson Sphere when something happened systems that have been dormant for centuries activated. The energy readings were off the scale, then a flash, and... My nav computer claims we're in the Delta Quadrant. If that's right, this entire Dyson Sphere somehow moved itself more than 50,000 light years from its previous position. Since then, we've been stuck. I would have taken Voyager's path back home if we could get out of the Sphere. The doors were locked tight and the gateway powered down as soon as we arrived. Glad to have the help. Supplies are running low. But what was that ship that just passed us? Shares some signs of Voth tech, but our databanks don't have anything like that. Another Dyson Sphere? It's taken us 40 years to study this one, and we're not even close to understanding it. And if that ship was Voth, it would explain why they ignored our hails. They came in with their weapons armed and then simply stopped. Didn't see us as a threat. The ship set course for the sealed door and is just sitting there. They're ignoring us. I promised my crew we'd get home. If you could send over a team with some spare components, I can get this ship ready to travel. I have extensive experience with the Voth. While they are arrogant, it is not like them to completely ignore a potential threat. It may be that they sense a greater danger. I suggest we approach and attempt to hail them. Voyager found that some Voth were open to negotiation. We should make every attempt to find a peaceful solution. Alright, let's attempt peace. That's about as likely as a gibble chomping on my head. <laughs> I don't see a land shark, so... The Voth are moving towards the door. Tuvok? Your query will have to wait, Doctor. Shields are down and we... <sighs> You're not... <laughs> You're not Cooper. The weak shall perish! Captain, the Undine outside of the Sphere are powering weapons. The Mammalian ship is still disabled. 
Arm all weapons. We will destroy the creatures and then return for the mammals. Eh, typical Voth arrogance. Right before something blows them up. I don't feel sorry for them. I... I am unharmed. But we are in danger. We are deep within the Delta Quadrant. Right where Cooper wanted us. We do not know how long this infiltrator has impersonated Cooper. Or the extent of what he has done. However, I am quite familiar with the tactics of Species 8472. We will repel the Undine, and survive to warn the Alpha Quadrant of the renewed threat. Finally, a worthy adversary for my new ship! Hold on a second. This vessel cannot defeat them alone. This ship can take it. I knew it. I have experience with the Undine. You do not. They are extremely dangerous. I'm not engaging them until I have my the traits back. To provide any assistance you require. And I would love to know. Why this keeps happening? Oh, don't worry, I will be fighting. Now. Fly my own ship. Doesn't let me do anything I want. Keeps removing my traits. Were it not for the personal endeavor system, I would have died at least three times already. Good to see you. We would 
have arrived sooner, but there was a fog fleet in the way. Congratulations on a successful mission. Now the Romulan Republic will take over. We'll set up a command center for further operations. I'm sure command will contact you when your presence is needed. Uh, I think we all have different things to say about that. Neither the Republic nor the Klingon Empire has any authority in this sphere. This sphere was discovered by the crew of the USS Janolan, a Starfleet vessel. It was mapped by the USS Enterprise-D, a Starfleet vessel. Since then, it has been studied and claimed by the United Federation of Planets. We will be the ones who determine what happens here. No one else. And he's right. And this isn't me supporting the Federation. Sometimes they do very stupid things. But under interstellar law, which is internationally and universally recognized by every civilized, well, state, the sphere is theirs. The Romulan Republic has no claim to it. The Klingons have no claim to it. Under salvage code, the sphere's theirs. The Federation wouldn't argue with salvage code when it comes to, well, lost Federation starships. The Klingons don't. We've worked with the Alliance in the Solene sphere because that was the best option. But this sphere, no matter its location, has been under Federation control for four decades. If you want to study the sphere, we can open negotiations. But the current state of war makes that a less than optimal option. Until then, I will defend the Federation's claim if I must. And he's right. Interstellar salvage code's a bitch. Fighting over this sphere is not an option. It would divide our strength. Precisely what would benefit the Undine. The Voth chose to fight instead of cooperate. They were destroyed. We can choose not to be enemies. It is time we did so. This matter is far from settled. We cannot simply put aside territorial claims because someone else wants what we have. However, I will consult with Sub-Commander Cole and Starfleet Command and discuss the situation. The Romulan Republic will continue to take responsibility for areas within our jurisdiction, but I do not wish to cause a rift in what has been a successful joint action. However, I will not be put in a position where I must choose between the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We have agreements on both sides that must be honored. Sub-Commander Cole can handle the details. I am a ship captain, not an administrator. Cooper's departure has lifted the miasma in my mind, an affliction that I did not even realize was there. He was influencing me. He used the psychic abilities of the Undine to influence my thoughts. And the results are an effect of my failure. I should have been able to detect his influence. We have fulfilled our mission to neutralize the jump capabilities of the Solene Sphere, only to open up a gateway that the Undine can now use to reach our space. They will no longer have to create rifts from fluidic space. Was this Cooper's plan all along? I suggest we return to Sub-Commander Cole. We must attempt to save the fragile peace of the Alliance. The Sphere is under Federation control! This Sphere is only accessible through an Alliance-controlled gateway. Then perhaps it is time to end this Alliance! This is neither the time nor the place for this. Commander Jarak is correct. The Undine are a threat to us all. Now they have direct access to our space. I propose a summit. We must decide together what we must do to protect the Alpha Quadrant. Our disputes may need to be put aside in the face of a greater enemy. I volunteer to mediate these talks. Dr. Cooper manipulated me to achieve his goals. It is only logical that I take responsibility for what has happened here. Very well, Vulcan. We will finish this later.
House Coat Gaming.